Hi, glad you could come today. My name is Pam Shaver and I'm a local artist and retired elementary school teacher. Um, I'm very interested in, in showing you a craft project that you could complete outdoors, um, perhaps even as part of the, um, the outdoor areas that belong to the Natural Land Institute. I'm part of their marketing and membership committee, and we're just thrilled that you were able to come to our yard today. Um, the project that we're going to be showing you is called Leaf Liftoff, and that is because lifting off a leaf is part of the, making the project happen, as well as being a takeoff point for some other details or ideas that you might come up with creatively. So we basically have three supplies that you would need to complete this project, and that would be paper, um, a leaf, and some type of stylus. I would suggest that you start with a marker because it's soft and the tendency to rip the leaf would be less. It helps if you can start with a leaf that's fairly flat. And if you can't find one that is, perhaps you could sit on it for a little while before you start the project. So what we do is use one hand to hold the leaf in place and the other hand to hold the stylus. Then making very gentle, straight strokes, we pull them off of the edge of the leaf so that by the time we've worked our way all the way around the edge, we'll be able to see the leaf's outline. It's very quick. You can make your strokes closer together or further apart. You could even use the side of the marker if you wanted to get some very broad strokes. And so now it's time to lift off. And if you want, you can go back in and, and put some of the veins from the leaf on the stem. And that's all there is to it. Some optional things that you might like to experiment with would be sidewalk chalk that you've dipped in water. It has a very nice effect. You can take your leaf design and turn it into animals. You can use crayons to brighten it up. Colored pencils work also. A lot of variations can be had. And you can even cut out the inside of your leaf to make a frame for a photo. I'm sure you'll come up with many, many more ideas, and I hope you have a fun time doing that.